and welcome to Monday Mania. How are you guys doing? We are back for another night of chaos. If you read the description, somebody's been round the car lot tonight and let down all the tyres, which means we have been prepping the tyres, trying to get them back so we can have some good racing tonight. In the house tonight, first comment obviously was Chrissy, but first, other than Chrissy, was Daniel Hartfield from Wonder Trucker Gaming. How you doing, Daniel? Hope you're doing okay. Welcome in tonight. Guys, if you haven't already, please head over to Wonder Trucker Gaming. The link is already in the chat. And give Daniel a like and a follow. So, what have you guys been up to? Have you had a great day? We have to a point. The weather hasn't been the best for a British bank holiday. But bank holidays always mean rain. And Jeff would tell me no different. We come to Britain and you get the rain. It rains 350 days out of 356. And that is exactly what has happened today. We woke up, it was absolutely chucking down of rain. So, what can we expect? So, there we go. And true to form, in the background, the rain is coming down. We're in the midst of a storm. As we left off last night, we left Brands Hatch ready for today. And it is a, thaw a storm overhead. We'll be doing three laps of this circuit at 2.43 miles per lap. In the BMW M5, Mr. Chris himself from Phoenix Infinity Gaming. Mr. Chris Edwards, how are you doing, buddy? Thank you for the likes there. Guys, Phoenix Infinity Gaming, you know what to do. Head over there, give Chris and the Phoenix Infinity Gaming page a like and a share. Thank you very much. Ellis Ma in the house. How are you doing, Ellis? Hope you are doing great. We are doing good, Chris. Typical British weather. It's absolutely chucked it down on Bank Holiday Monday over here. But we are ready. The weather has continued on the game. I've still got the game sound off, and I know the game sound is off for a specific reason. There is a storm rolling overhead, and the thunder is louder than me, which is unusual because I'm normally louder than anything. But it's going to be good. We're in the BMW M5 tonight as we plough through the last three races of this Evolution Championship. Well, in this series, I should say. Danny Wright in the house. How are you doing, Danny? Hope you are doing very well. Danny Wright, our very good friend from the bus trucker. Head over there, guys. Give Danny a like and a follow as well. My dad is in the house. How are you doing, Dad? Hope you are doing well. Chrissy running left, right, and centre. So, welcome in, guys. Hope you are all having a great day. We're going to crack on with the racing. We left off after race number three last night. And we are going to continue with the remaining three races in this series. So, let's crack down. Let's get the game sound back on before I make any mistakes at all. There we go. As you can hear, the thunderstorm is a rolling in. Thank you for the like on the stream there, Dad. I appreciate that. So, let's head into it. We're doing Brands Hatch. We're doing three laps at 2.43 miles per lap. We're ready to race. Christina, thank you for the light there. Yeah, it's it's still raining out there now. It's not as heavy as it was earlier, Ellis. It's oh, but it is yeah. there. So, uh, yep, yeah, typical bank holiday Monday. 
Tyler Hicks in the house. How you doing, Tyler? It was great to have a catch up with you yesterday. How is Mass and Chrissy? We are very well. We have been chilling for most of the day. I've been making a few alterations to the stream. Uh, I've still got a few more to go. But uh, all will be revealed when we get s some more bits and pieces in with the stream. Uh, we don't do self promotion, Praveen. No, we don't do self promotion. That is just rude. Thugs Gaming. Can one of the moderators remove that, please? If you'd have asked me, I would have uh, probably given you a promotion, a promote. But just jumping in and promoting yourself like that is rude. I'm gonna get that removed before. It's gone. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Jess, for that. You guys know we are all about spreading the love in the community, but when somebody comes in and self-promotes like that, we don't agree with it because they don't show us any support and we don't get notified of it, which is wrong. Uh, when Danny comes up, like the likes of Daniel Hartfield, Danny Wright, Chris, come in we give them a promote because when we go on to their streams they give us a promote as well and we share the love around the gaming community we don't just jump in and drop our links in there in your chats so sorry about that guys Praveen if you would like to have a chat with me after the stream I will be glad to have a chat with you but please don't self promote it's not nice and we wouldn't do it in your chat unless we had your express permission thank you I tell you to drop them in yeah exactly we if we it's like you guys we already have your links here and when you come in we drop your links and we don't mind doing it for you guys because when we come over to your pages you let us what well, you you promote us and we don't expect it when people come in and do that that's just wrong and it's rude so the thunderstorm sounds are amazing but they are quite loud so <laughs> that's why I, I put them on mute for a little bit but now they're in anyway with that all said and done we've got Jess yeah possibly Daniel <laughs> but Jess is on the case with her ban hammer she knows what she's doing so guys if you want to misbehave in the comments Jess is on case Ellis we love having you here Ellis thank you for coming by and spending some time with us so we're gonna head down to trackside we're gonna get this race underway so we're in the BMW M5 exactly Chris exactly so we're on a rolling start in Brands Hatch. We start in 13th place on lap one. And we come around that first bend. We're making our way up the pack as we always do. We make it look easy. We get on the inside. Tyler Hicks coming in with that 105 stars. Thank you so much, Tyler. Really, really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. As we power forward. Guys, please get some hashtag Tyler's in the comments and spam that heart button as we always do for our very, very generous friends. Mr. David Fletch and Arrow Stream Gaming in the house. How you doing, David? Hope you are very well. As we push our way forward, we are 
we're only on lap one of three and we're already in first place that rain and thunderstorm coming down hopefully the rain will ease off there we go there is the link for the arrow stream page guys if you haven't already please head over there you go by hicks okay i will call you hicks if i remember because uh, we have two tylers in mass gaming we have yourself and we have tyler hall so i can't even call you tyler h for short so i will if i remember i will call you hicks so guys if you if you'd like if you would like to put some hashtag hicks in the comments david fletch coming in with uh look looking at my comments a little star train there thank you so much david for the 150 i believe it is and we slide off the track there but we managed to pull it back so guys if you could put some hashtag david's in the comment that would be great joey hobby in the house how you doing joey nice to see you in one of this well one well see you in the stream <laughs> that's how we normally stream roughly about the same time uh, so it's nice to actually see you pop in hope you're doing very well Jury from Dogman Gaming. Chrissy? Yep. So, guys, if you haven't already, the link is in the comments. If you haven't already, pop over there. Check Joey out. Show him the love and support that we always do from Mouse Gaming. So, as we push on, these puddles are getting heavier on the track which means there's more chances of us aquaplaning which we don't want but then it makes us look a bit more professional there eager gaming in the house our good friend jeff with the double there how you doing jeff hope you are okay david coming in with another 50 stars thank you so much david really appreciate that buddy I'm gonna get some uh, animations up in a second you're not hiding behind the sofa no more <laughs> mr. Philip Taylor in the house how you doing Phil hope you're doing well as we come around the end of the second lap we are firmly in first place as we start the final lap off there trying to stop the trying to stop the storm with storm with some stars well with this being a british track as jeff would say you come to britain and you get 350 days of rain and yeah pretty much every time we've come to britain we've had the rain and the storms but hey, it's what makes us unique. So we are powering through. We are a good three to four seconds ahead of the pack behind us. We're doing absolutely amazing. So let's try and put some more space and pick up our first gold trophy of the evening. As I said, we had a little bit of chaos somebody let all the tires down in the buildings i didn't catch that comment ellis you can donate some stars if you wish that's totally up to you at the end of the day we put on a show to entertain you so if you want to donate stars that is totally up to you we just enjoy your company yep Chris I agree with you no we don't want the hurricanes just the rain as we come around that final bend on the home onto the home straight there's the entrance to the pit lane as we fly down and we're gonna pick up 
our first trophy of the evening. I'm going to go back for the current solo, donate some stars on Friday as you are awesome. So is Chrissy. Ellis, we love you. It's totally your choice though. We, we don't expect the stars. And if you feel that they are warranted, then by all means, feel free to do so. But thank you so much for coming in and just spending some time with us. We love everybody that comes in and shows support just by watching. So that's our first win of the stream. But the fourth race in the series complete. We are still sat right at the top. Number one driver, number one streamer. I'm definitely not number one streamer. There are streamers out there better than me. But I do pride myself on my stream and the team that we have here. And the amount of love that we share out with everybody. So, yeah. We, we do our best to put on a great show. So we pick up another win for the stream. We pick up another gold trophy. Four races complete. Two races remaining. Let's go and pick up our credits for that race. Loosen the hat now. I may have to. I don't think they do hats this big though. So we pick up 18,000 credits, taking our total to 1,718,621. Well, number one supporter, number one friend. That's what we like. We like to support people and we, we like to make friends in this community and that's what it's all about. So let's head forward. Oh nearly complete driver level 131 and we are heading to road atlanta we're doing the full circuit 2.54 miles per lap and we're doing three laps that storm has passed so the sunshine is out suntan lotion is on and we're ready to roll so let's get down to trackside on that rolling start in the beautiful blue BMW M5. Let's see if we can add another trophy to our collection. As we start in 13th place, we roll over that start line. Exactly, Chris, we are family. As we push our way literally up from 13th into 5th, Let's see if we can get into number one, where we belong. All oh, the cones are out. Jess will have a notepad in mind. As this track, we know cones are going to go flying at some point. They're put round the track at strategic places. Kenny Gaston in the house aka Kenny G aka Kenny's mind guys if you haven't already you know please head over to Kenny's mind drop him a like drop him a follow watch his content he is awesome he is a family friend of ours too we love Kenny Kenny loves us he notices me notices and noticing no 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 I got my words out noticing me noticing him noticing me See, I got it out in the end, Kenny. I nearly messed it up, but I pulled it back. Recovery. So, we are in second place on lap one of three. Are we going to make it into first? I don't think we'll do it. I think maybe having a little, a little fight on our hands. Neck and neck as we go up and over the crest. And we do slide into first. As we come around that bend, we've got to be careful because that wall will take us out as I knew it would. I, I could sense the car pulling and it pulled us straight into the wall. And that wall is very unforgiving. So we drop two places down into third place. But that's not going to stop us. We've still got two laps to go yet. So let's see if we can make those positions back. The cars aren't that far ahead. 
They're literally just over that bend. As you can see, one's just pulled around that corner. Greg Davis in the house. How you doing, Greg? Hope you are well. Thank you for the like on the stream there. Really appreciate that, guys. If you haven't already, if you could tickle that like button, it helps the stream so much. Let's push forward. We are literally behind second place. I don't know why he's going so slow. You'd think he'd put his foot down. He's driving a nice car, but we like we like our one better. A little rusty, but it's good. But I notice you. Noticing me. Noticing you. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> we are having a great evening, Greg. Thank you. Hope you and the family are having a great evening too. As we are closing in on second place. There we go. We slide back into second our position. You were just eating your dinner while you were watching. What are you having nice to eat, Ellis? Let us know. Give me some ideas for what I can have for after the stream for something to eat. Tyler Hicks, uh, Hicks, thank you for the notify. And there's that wall again. It takes us out again. I hate that wall. This car does not like that wall. So we are now on lap three of three. Let's push now. This is where we need to go forward. Still no hot dogs, I know. Okay, Chris. Thank you for popping in. Have a great stream. Hopefully we can pop over and see you after the stream guys if you head over to phoenix infinity gaming go and check chris out go and see what he is all about drop him some support and go and give him a like and a follow as well peri peri chicken with mash and cauliflower all oh, that sounds awesome peri peri chicken the burn your lips peri peri chicken oh, oh. you enjoy that ellis Yes, we are going to come out swinging with this one. I think it may be a tough... I think it may be a second place, but we're not going to give up fighting. We're going to push as hard as we can until we cross that finish line, like we always do. Up and over that crest there. This car really doesn't get up to speed until you get into about fourth gear. I think this is going to be a second place for us. But you never know. He might slip off the track on that corner. You never know in these races. Anything can happen. If you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, make sure it was worth it. <laughs> that's that's a life saying there, Chris. As we come around that bend, what's caught us out twice. We go across the line in second place. Second place is good first would have been nicer but whoever is on confetti duty tonight be prepared there's going to be a lot of confetti so we pick up second place in that race let's see if that makes any change to our standings on the table no it doesn't we are still sat at the top with one race remaining so we're still online for first place on the podium which is great we love being on that podium in first place and if we get the first place on the podium. Okay. Chrissy's going to go and get the vacuum. Vacuuming, vacuuming tarmac. That's going to be fun. If we do get the first place. And we get the podium. We're going to send Jess up to go and pick the trophy up. So we pick up 20,000 credits to add to our total. Making our total 1,738,621. GG's in the comments there. And we smashed that driver level 131, giving us, a, giving us an extra 20,000 credits. And it's time for you to get involved. We have the choice of 50,000 credits, a car, which is going to cost us absolutely zero, or the vintage racing black driver suit. Uh, 
Ellis coming in there. Rob, I have an idea. Anytime I have my dinner from now on, I shall send Chrissy a picture. Awesome. You do that, Ellis. Make me jealous. Everybody already flooding the comments with their votes. It's the car. We'll give it another 15, 20 seconds. And everybody's coming in. I think that car... What are, what, I don't even know what car it is, but we'll we'll check it out. Yeah, it's making my mouth water now as well. You haven't seen the picture. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> so, okay, the votes are in. It's a landslide victory for the car. So let's go and pick the car up. It is the 2014 Mercedes-Benz number 84 HTP Motorsport SLS AMG GT3. And what a sexy car that is. It adds 720 to our collector's score. And it is a super rare. So we put it in the super rare collection. And we start our journey on driver level 132. Phil Jones in the house. How you doing, Phil? Hope you are well. Thank you for the like and the share. Oh, yeah. Phil Jones, our very good friend from Lifestyle Vapes on Facebook. Head over there, guys, for all your vaping needs. And if you need anything, drop Phil a message and he will be able to help you out. Also, let's get some more graphics up on the screen. We had Daniel Hartfield with Wonder Trucker Gaming. Let's bring up Jeff and Eager Gaming. I'll take it, Jay, Jay's just hit the room as well. Why did you put the customizing spawner? Because it's a sponsor. Okay, there we go. Chrissy has put the link up to customized inks as well. That is Jay Hartfield. That is our sponsor. Head over to the links in that comment there. The top one is his personal Facebook profile. The second one is the Facebook page. And the last one is the website. Head over there, guys, for your customized merchandise, i.e. mass gaming. And let Jay know what you want. If you go over there with the code mouse 10 you will get 10 percent off your order so head over there and give jay the information that he needs to get you with your awesome merchandise so as i was saying let's get back on with the uh, promos jeff over at Eager Gaming, Preston Brewster in the house. I see you, seeing me, seeing you. Head over to Eager Gaming. Jeff is very, very shortly ready to start streaming. We can't wait for Jeff to start streaming. We've said it ever since Jay has come on board, Daniel. So it's a case of keeping an eye. But if you need anything from jay go over with mouse 10 and he will give you 10 percent discount so there we go pb we would chris is rushing me now she doesn't realize how hard it is for me to get my words out to the screen without making it say saying and messing it up so preston brewster our very good friend in the house Preston from PB Streams, head over there guys, give Preston a like and a follow, and share the love from Mass Gaming, hope you're doing okay Preston, hope you're not working too hard, hope you are safe, head over there guys, give Preston a like and a follow, James Cole in the house, how you doing James, hope you're okay, James uh, another good friend of ours from Goofy Dad Gaming, Chrissy hasn't got that one, so I'm going ahead. She's looking puzzled. So while she uh, pulls up the link for that one. <coughs> there she goes. Head over there, guys. And drop James a like and a follow. Share the love that we always do from Mouse Gaming. I threw Chrissy off, I think. Ash Parker, thank you for the like on the stream, buddy. Hope you are doing well. Lots of idiot drivers out today. Doesn't surprise me. It's a bank holiday in the UK, and 
it's a holiday around most places around the world, I believe. But everywhere you go, there's going to be idiot drivers regardless. So just be safe, Preston. And I know you don't have to watch out, but you have to watch out for the, the uh, silly people on the roads. So with that under the belt, we're heading to our last race. And typical in fashion, it decides to show oh, me up. Yeah. Thank you for the share there as well. We're heading to my nemesis track, the Benise Alps. This is going to be fun. It knew how to throw me off. So we're doing two laps at 3.63 miles per lap. And we're doing the festival circuit. So let's head straight into it and see what a mess we can make. As we wait for that first car to go over the start line, we push and we start in 11th place. Now let's see if the past races are gonna do us justice. Okay, maybe not. That first corner always slows us right down for some reason. I don't know why. But let's push on. We are in 10th. So we've gone at one place. Okay, we shoot straight up into 8th. Two cars passed. And hopefully we can start putting some uh, power behind this car and pushing up. We're in the top 5. Car nearly drifted off then. As you can see, the four front runners in front of us there. And so we're literally in with that front pack. As we slide into fourth, can we make it up into first? I'm hoping we can. We're hugging that line as we come around the bend into the tunnel. Just close your eyes. We push into third. Can we get into second before the end of the tunnel? We do. It's all about this first place. We want to get into first place. Let's see if we can make it a miracle. Two for two on this track. This track, if you've watched any of the past streams, you will know this track is a pet hate of mine. Right, we are in first. Now let's try and extend that lead. As we push uphill. Ash, I'm sorry that you're not feeling too good. I hope you feel better soon, buddy. Oh, that was close. I thought we were going to hit that wall then. We've got a tiny, tiny gap between us and the pack. That could be good. But now we've got to extend on that gap. We've got to make it bigger. As we head over the start line, that is lap one complete. This is lap two of two. This is the final lap. It was a nice save there, Jess. I uh, totally agree. As we push forward, there is about just under half a second gap between us and the rest of the pack half a second is absolutely nothing but we're going to push forward as we come around that bend look at the view to our right guys that is one amazing view as we come down the downhill section maybe we can make up a little bit of space here I'm pushing this one. I want this to be another number one win. That will mean two number win, number one wins on the Bernese Alps. This track, not my best track at all. As we come around this bend, Jess, cover your eyes. We're heading towards the tunnel. As we push forward, there's about a second or just under a second gap between us and the pack. So that gap is slowly getting bigger. But we're not safe yet. Not until we cross that finish line. We are never safe till we finish that. Go across that finish line. So as we make our way around. Everybody in the beer garden to our right there. Having our ball. Having a couple of drinks on this fine bank holiday. We are pushing. 
Not far to go in there. As we come around the bending section of the track into the final open left bend. There is about a second and a half gap between us and the pack. This is looking good. As we can see the finish line there, there's the entrance to the pit lane on the left. This looks like it's going to be a first place win. I'm hoping so. And we pick up first place. Now that is good. I am impressed with myself. So that is a first place win. A well earned first place win too. And that means we are sat at the top of the series as we complete that last race. So that means we're sending Jess up to the podium in first place to pick up the gold trophy. So Jess, head up to the podium. Go and get that trophy. There she is. Jess on the podium in first place. Picking up the trophy for that series. What a way to start a stream. What a way to end a series. We pick up 18,000 credits, taking our total to 1,776,621. Well done. And we go over quarter of the way around driver level 132. And that will also add a blue tick. There we go. The blue tick is now in the box. Get back that way. There we go. That is that series now complete. Which leaves us two championships. To, two series to complete in this championship. Or is it? No. It's three. We have that. We have the Hot Hatch Icons series to complete, the Evolution Open Elite, and then the dreaded Endurance Sebring 300 mile race. And that is on the Sebring International Raceway Circuit. I believe it's about 80 odd laps. So we're going to work out how long that is going to take us. To, it will take a full stream, I believe. But we will do it. You have no doubt. We're, we're working out a, a plan to bring that to the stream. But we will do it. We're going to head into the Hot Hatch Icons the series. Hot hatches that grew out of the Golf GTI's trend-setting origins. While these sporty little numbers have more power and luxury, they never lost the scrappy spirit of their predecessors. So we have this car in the series. So we're going to go with this one. It fits all the bills for the restrictions on the series. So let's see where we're going to head to first. We're heading to Lime Rock. We're doing the full circuit. Five laps at 1.50 miles per lap. And look at that yellow. It's a banana yellow. And the sun is out as well. Just what we like to see. The sunshine at Lime Rock. So let's head straight down. This is race at one of six, and it's going to be a standing start. And we all start off. We start in 12th place. It is banana yellow, Jess. I agree. As we go across that start line, this car really does, does shift. We go into the top three before the first bend, but we get nudged and knocked back into fifth. We're not going to stand for that. This car, let's go down into the cockpit. I say the cockpit, let's go into inside the car. Get out the way. How much of the track do you want to take up? As we slide into third place, we come around the bend. 
Oh, nice overtake there. Can we make it into first? I believe we can. As we skid around that corner, we head to the Drivers Club Bridge, over the crest and down the bank, which will take us onto the home straight. There's the entrance to the pit lane on our left, on our right, sorry. Let's try and put a gap between us and the rest of the pack. There's about half a second as we go over that line to start lap two. We come around that bend, hugging that line really, really nicely. Staying away from those cones. Don't want to send any of those flying today. With it being a bank holiday, Jess could charge me double. As we hug that line, that gap between us and the rest of the pack is increasing very nicely. As we come around the bend into the uphill part of the track. Really doing well today. As we skid around that bend there. Back under the Drivers Club Bridge, down the back end of the circuit, onto the home straight. It's just a normal bank holiday drive out in the car. There's the entrance to the pit lane on our right. Thank you very much. And we go over that start line to start lap three of five. We'll come back round that bend there. The, cut, the rest of the pack have literally just crossed the start line that's how much of a gap we have now between us and the pack so we are taking a nice steady drive everybody out in force on the banks to our right there having picnics in the sunshine as we come around that bend I don't know what they're doing on the left there it looks like they're having a party everybody waving their flags up on the bank to our right there as we push round into the uphill little bank on the right. Heading down towards the back section of the circuit that everybody on the bank's on the left as well. As we head underneath the Drivers Club Bridge and onto the home straight, the Sam Posey straight. There's the entrance to the pit lane on our right. As we go across that start line to start lap four of five. Look at the mist rising in the hills. Either that's mist or Jeff is vaping in the woods behind the circuit there. We push our way around that bend. They've just started to cross that start line there. So that tells you how far ahead we actually are. So as we put they're still having a party in that little hut to our left we're hugging that line as we come to the bend to go uphill and our lap time this lap round is slightly faster as we come down to the drivers club bridge Onto the Sam Posey straight. There's the entrance to the pit lane there. And we go across the start line to start lap five of five. That gap between us and the pack is absolutely huge. As we come around that first bend. Guys, they haven't even started the last lap yet. They haven't gone across the start line. They are just on the straight. Let's see if we can keep an eye on when they do cross that start line. The second place car has just gone across that start line. That tells you how far ahead of the pack we are today. So this little Volkswagen, not doing too bad. As we head up the last section of the track, we're on the uphill part, which means we are heading towards the Drivers Club Bridge to go down onto the home straight. Let's go back outside the car. As we skid around that bend, there's the entrance to the pit lane. 
as we power towards our finish line, we pick up first place. Absolutely awesome. So there we go. A first place win, indeed. So that gives us our first set of serious points. And yes. Yeah, first place. Checkered flag index pointing up. Guys, Jess is on a. I've, I've had your Red Bull. Jess is on a star train. She's about to break that alert box. I'm going to leave that up there while we go and collect our credits for that race. We pick up 22,000 credits. Taking our total to 1,798,621. Guys, please spam that chat with hashtag Jess. And spam that heart button as well for her. Thank you so much, Jess. I'm going to try and do it properly. I did learn how to do a quad last night. Kenny was teaching me how to do the quad, which is not as easy as it sounds. Yeah, it sort of gets there. All four are there. But thank you so much, Jess. Have you had my Red Bull? No, I don't drink Red Bull. I drink coffee. Red Bull is not good for you. And we pick up our XP there. Yes, I'm glad you're smiling. I'm going to throw a hashtag Jess in there as well. I'm going to do what Jeff did. I like that one. Jess is awesome. Thank you so much, Jess. This is what Jess likes to do. She likes to break my alert box. I'm Good. smiling now. Good. I'm glad you are smiling. And the alert box has a problem keeping up with Jess. Hopefully the alert box has caught up. It did. Jess. From me and the whole of the chat room. You are awesome. And just one more time. Thank you. I know you like that gif. So we are heading... I know you like breaking that box. <laughs> we are heading to the Indianapolis Speedway, Motor Speedway. We're doing the Grand Prix circuit. Three laps at 2.44 miles per lap. Jess, we know you like... I'm going to throw a heart on there too. We know you like breaking that box. And there's no need to be sorry, as Chris has just said. 
there's no need to be sorry at all we love you for who you are you're an amazing person and not just in our stream everybody that you come in go into their streams you share the love with them as well and I hope they appreciate you as much as we do we love you Jess so let's head down to the track side the Sun is out again somebody setting fireworks off in the back I heard them we are at a standing start and we have a long straight in front of us we start in 12th place let's see if we can get into first before we get to that first bend we've got our foot down on the pedal we're definitely flying up the grid I don't think we're gonna hit first we may do as we come to our first bend we actually do get into first place so that is great to start the race off everybody queued up in those uh, stands over there to our left everybody in the middle whoa somebody set up somebody set fireworks off there or was that a starter pistol that made me jump but as we power our way around the circuit let's see if we can put a gap between us and the pack I love this track so whoever stood in there waving the flag how did they get up there So as we head round, this is the technical part of the track with all the bends and turns you can think of. We are going to push this as best we can. What's happening this weekend, Ellis? What have you got planned for the weekend? As we push forward... That gap slowly increasing between us and the pack. That's just what we like to see. The entrance to the pit lane just to our right. We're not looking to go in there anytime soon. We never go into the pit lane. So as we power, somebody set off a canister there. We push our way down the home straight, going over that start line to start lap two of three. We push forward. The cars behind us are not too far behind, but the gap is increasing. As we come to that first bend, we're going over that start line. Just a quiet weekend like usual, and chill. I am going to do a beach, beach clean. I haven't seen one of those for ages. Get to just go down the coastline and clearing up the beaches. What an awesome thing to do. That is awesome, Ellis. I hope it hope it's a nice sunny day when you do that beach clean on Sunday. I really do. I've done a few beach cleans in my time too and it's the most satisfying rewarding thing you can do because you're doing something voluntarily and it helps it helps preserve sea life because people don't think about things that they drop could affect sea life when it goes into the water so Ellis, please do post some pictures on your Facebook. I'd, I'd love to check them out. I remember seeing a while back a picture of a, a video of a turtle that had a plastic straw or something like that stuck in its nose. Just from somebody discarding a straw. I don't know what the, how, the t how it got stuck up in the turtle's nose, but they pulled it out and it was so heart-wrenching. People don't think about the consequences of their actions when they drop litter on the beach. So people like you, Ellis, are a credit to others. So you do a beach clean on Sunday and do us proud. 
and I hope you have a lovely time doing it too. So as we push around, we, oh, that's worse than a jump scare. Sounds like somebody setting it off firecrackers in the uh, field to our right. As we push round, we are, have increased that gap between us and the pack. We've got about a two second gap. But two seconds is absolutely nothing. There you go, Ellis. You've given somebody else an idea too. And that's how it all starts. One person puts an idea out there and then other people follow with the idea that you put out there. It makes the world a better place. Not that you should have to do a beach clean anyway because people should take their litter and rubbish away with them and dispose of it correctly but some people don't. But as we push our way, this is lap three or three. This race has gone really, really quick. We've been hugging that line all the way around. This is a, this is one of the nice tracks. So as we push our way down the home straight, we're going to go across that line and pick up the first place win. That's another trophy to the collection. we had a nice seven second gap overall so another win in the bag we're doing really really well tonight we are still sat right at the top up there in first place a 20 point lead so that is awesome so let's go and pick up our credits for that one We pick up 22,000 credits, taking our total up to 1,820,621. Right, while we wait to head down to our next track, we have something special for you guys. We are on our road to 500 followers. We are, what are we currently sat at? 379. We are currently sat at 379, 121 away from our target. We're going to get a followers bar down where the just the tip bar is sat, which Jess has kindly added to. We're going to get a followers bar put down there, but when we reach 500 followers, we are going to do a little giveaway for you guys. Now, there are a few rules that come with it. But what we want to do is give back to you guys. And what we will be doing is a gift card giveaway. So when we hit 500, we will give more details on how we're going to do it. But the winner will win a gift card. I'm sure it's going to be an Amazon gift card. So invite your friends let your friends know that we are doing a giveaway the one rule that we do know is going to be part of the rules is you have to be a follower of the page so let your friends know let your family know to come and join mouse gaming when we hit 500 followers we will be doing that giveaway so that is something for you guys that we can give back and say thank you for being a follower of mouse gaming so with that said we're going to head to our next race we are heading to the nurburg ring we're doing the gp circuit not the full circuit and it is raining it's going to be a wet one so this is a scaled down version of the Nurburg ring, not as long as the 16.15 mile trek. We're doing two laps of this circuit at 3.20 miles per lap. So let's, that storm has come back as well. Yes, this track is gonna be very, very moist. And yes, it is gonna be slippery when wet. 
Another good album by bon John Bon Jovi. I love that album. So let's head down to Trackside. This is going to be a standing start. That thunder sounds amazing. So let's see where we start. We are starting in 11th place. We don't want to be sat there too long, so let's try and power our way forward. As we come to the hairpin like Ben, we push our way up into third place. Second place doesn't really want to give us his position, but he's got no choice. We are on the inside line. As we slide into second place. Can we get into first? I'm glad you're still there, Ellis. Oh, we get a back end nudge, but we block him off from taking over. We slip into first place. Now we've got a little bit of a straight, so hopefully we can put our foot down a bit and try and get a little bit of a lead. This track is going to be very, very slippy. There are going to be puddles building up. Which could cause us to aquaplane if we aren't careful. As you can see on the inside, there are puddles forming. Which means if we hit those wrong, yeah, they could spin us out. People in the stands to the left all enjoying themselves. But I don't see one single umbrella. But we push our way around. As we go around that hairpin bend, we are now making our way back up to the start line. That rain doesn't look like it's going to ease off anytime soon, and that storm is still overhead. Don't know how long that storm's going to be overhead lot overhead for, but it's in for. A little bit as we come around that bend there the spotlights not doing too bad of lighting the track up so we can see where we're going as we push forward we've got a little bit of a stretch now where we can open up the throttle a little bit I am definitely watching those puddles believe me as we power up the straight we're going to come to a tight chicane in a minute. I handled that like a pro. And there is the entrance to the pit lane, which means we're not too far away from the start line. As we come around the open right bend, we push our way on the home straight. Let's open it up now and put our foot down. It's not a very long home straight, this one. And there is the start line as we start lap two of two, the final lap. That storm seems to have passed, but the rain is still coming down. Not too heavy, it's eased off a little bit, but look at the, the water on the track. Posing a little bit of a challenge to the race. We have to be careful how we handle this one, because if we don't handle it right, we could go spinning off the track. We've got about half a second between us and second place. So we're not doing too bad at the moment. This is the last lap, two of two. As we push around. We're heading down towards the hairpin bend, which will take us on the return to the home straight. Yep. The grass has puddles too. And there is that hairpin bend. We are now on the return to the finish line. There is about a second gap between us and the rest of the pack as we push forward. Everybody in the stands absolutely soaking wet. 
because I don't even see one single umbrella in that stand. The helicopter hanging about over the race course as we push around that bend. Doing pretty well, I'm impressed. And we head around this open stretch of circuit where we can put our foot down a little bit. That gap between us and second is increasing even more. As we come up to the chicane, we go around it very easily and we open up the throttle once again. There's the entrance to the pit lane as we come around the open right hand bend onto the home straight we make our way down to the finish line and the skies are clearing just as we go across the line and pick up the first place win brilliant another first place win for us and yes Chrissy the trophies are rolling in thick and fast so let's see what the gap was between us there was 10 seconds gap between us and second place so that is awesome so as we pick up race win number three for the series we are still sat at the top of that table three races remaining let's go and pick up our credits for that race we pick up 20,000 credits taking our total to 1,840,621 I hate that odd one I wish you could donate that to the creators that make the skins that you can go and download that would be an idea for Microsoft to put into practice earn in-game credits and donate them and we add an extra 20,000 credits to our total and we now have the choice of the credits the Porsche 911 GT2 1995 or the Road America race suit and the first vote coming straight in from Mr. Daniel Hartfield with the car Jeff following in second with car you guys know how it all works Chrissy coming in with car Christina coming in with car bear in mind guys the car is absolutely zero it's discounted down by 400,000 credits I think it's going to be a landslide victory for the car We'll give it another 20 seconds. Ellis coming in with car. Christina coming in there with car. Jess coming in with the car cat. I'd love to find a car that has a cat in. I'm going to see if there's a mod for it. With this game being as, as old as it is, there are mods out there, but I don't really want to uh, tinker too much with the game in case it breaks it. But bear in mind, guys, the cloud save may save us. I think it's a landslide victory for the car, so we're going to pick up that car. There we go. It is the 1995 Porsche 911 GT2. It adds 675 to our collector score, and it goes in with our super rare collector's cars. So that is another nice one for the set, and it is a nice red one too. As we start our journey on driver level 133, we see a BMW M6 2013. That could be ours for zero. That could be ours for absolutely zero if we can get round this driver level. But until then, let's plow on. We're heading to the Yas Marina circuit next. We're doing the full circuit, 3.45 miles per lap. It's an evening time track, so that building in the background is lit up. Chrissy likes that one because it goes from blue to purple to pink to blue, back to blue. So we're doing two laps of this circuit, 3.5, 3.45 miles per lap, and we're doing two laps. So let's head down to trackside 
and get this one rolling. And we start in 13th place of 24. Let's push our way forward and see how long it takes us to get up to the front. We're going to go on the inside. There's going to be a few scrapes around this bend, I can guarantee it. There's one, two. So on that first bend, we go up by five places into eighth, and we are still climbing. There's a set of cones. Two sets of cones aren't going to last very long on this track, I can believe that. But we're heading up to that long straight at the top of the circuit where we get to open the throttle. As we come around that very tight hairpin bend, we are sat in fifth place. Can we get some positions on this straight? Can we hit first? We shall see. As we put our foot down to the floor, we slide into fourth place. We're gaining on third. Can we get in third as well? I can see the end of the straight just up front as we push into third place are we going to go into second as we hit that bend we slide into second and we're having a tussle with first place he doesn't want to let that position go but he's got no choice as we put our foot down our car proving to be a little bit more powerful than second places as we put our foot down on this open stretch heading towards the technical side of the track with all the bends and turns everybody in the stands there enjoying their race as we push around around that little bit of a chicane there we can see that building getting ever closer chris's eyes have just lit up it's lit up in pink that will turn between pink and blue fireworks going off in the foreground there as we come up to that building look it's turned blue it's about to change color as well going into a purple then into a deep pink back to purple and then back to blue as we make our way forward we want to increase that gap now between us and the rest of the pack As we come around the first but last bend there's the entrance to the pit lane which means we aren't far away from that start line as we hit the home straight we put our foot down a little bit more try and increase that gap as we go across that start line to start that two of two we come to that first bend And we go around that bend in style right on the driver's line. Right, it's safe to say we haven't touched a single cone on this. And we go around that bend there up to the hairpin bend. no cones at all today it's going to be a clear streak for me as we put our foot down on the long open stretch that gap between us and second place increasing as we put our foot down fireworks going off in the back as the sky turns dark and the night closes in we come to the end of that straight now we go into the technical part of the track with all the bends and turns but not before we go down one last open stretch of circuit we go under the bridge there fireworks are going off all round the night lights have come on lighting the track up that gap is definitely increasing between us and the back we're about two seconds ahead so that is absolutely awesome for us 
as we make our way back towards that big blue, uh, big lit up building I should say. There we go, there is that building in all its glory to our right. We're heading that way because we're going to go under the bridge just beside it. Fireworks still going off in the background there. There we go. Everybody stood at the window watching the race from it inside the building. I'm hoping this will be my first night without a cone bill. We haven't touched a single cone or trap marker. That is awesome. As we come up to the last two bends of the circuit, we are firmly set in first place. There is the entrance to the pit lane as we come around that final bend onto the home straight. We line it up with the finish line and we come down to the finish line to take first place. making it look easy so another first place another gold trophy in the cabinet we're going to need a bigger cabinet at this rate so four races complete two races remaining we are firmly sat at the top of that series table Let's go and collect our credits for that race. Yeah. We need to go on Amazon and order him a nice new hammer and some nails and some planks of wood and some varnish. And some sandpaper. <laughs> we pick up 22,000 credits, taking our total to an outstanding 1,882,621. And we go over a quarter of the way around driver level 133. So let's see where we're heading next. We're heading to the Autodromo National Monza. We're doing the full circuit, two laps at three. 0.60 miles per lap the sun is still shining we this is one of my favorite tracks and i love this track but the only thing i don't like about it is the little chicane right at the beginning of the circuit that's where all the chaos ensues from lap one so let's head down to trackside and make our way towards another gold trophy hopefully Hopefully there's not too much chaos at that first turn. Yeah, this is one of my favorite tracks as well, Danny. I love this one. The only thing I don't like is the, the first lap. You always get a pile up on that first chicane. But if we hit it right and get forward far enough, hopefully we will we'll miss most of that chaos. As we plow our way up through the field, we're gonna miss all that chaos because we push our way into second place right on the tail of first he's not going to stay first for long our car's a little bit better than this he's driving a Vauxhall we're driving a Volkswagen a little bit of a tussle there but we're going to come out on top as we power through we're going to come up to a long S-bend very shortly here we are so that Vauxhall puts his foot on his brakes and slows down, but we power through. And we come to the back end of the circuit. Nice sunny day. Helicopters are out. There's hardly any breeze either. Just glad that the storms have gone. As we go around this bend, we can open up the throttle a little bit until we come to the little bit of a bend just about halfway down the return there's a nice gap already starting to form between us and second place as we make our way down here is that bend that I was talking about 
you're sitting on that liner really nicely. And now we can open up the throttle a little bit more as we go down the long straight towards the bend at the bottom, which will take us onto the home straight. Everybody in the stands having a great time taking their pictures. Here's that open bend to our right. Quite a long bend indeed, but that will lead us onto the home straight. as we can put our foot down a little bit longer and head back up to start lap two. And the start line are fastly approaching as we go across that line to start lap two of two. That helicopter coming right in, I thought it was gonna come down really low then. As we come up to that first chicane, we go around relatively easily we could have done that a little bit better but we come out of it cleanly and we power on for the rest of the circuit so as we power through we're going to come up to another chicane here crowd in fancy being sat in that stand in this part of the circuit two stands in the middle of nowhere as we power through the back end of the circuit working our way towards the return down the back side of the circuit and there we go, we're around that bend. We can open the throttle up a little bit now, put our foot down, try and increase that gap between us and second place. So as we power down, we've got a nice lead over second place, about two seconds. Mr. Carter in the house, how are you doing Jonathan? Thank you for popping over. As we power through that bend section there, we come up onto the straight. Mr. Jonathan Carter, our very good friend from Paintbrush 200. Guys, if you haven't already, please head over there. And thank you for the double there, Jonathan. Head over to Paintbrush 200. Give him a like. Give him a follow. Watch some of his content. I had the absolute pleasure of joining in last night over there with Dead by Daylight. I really enjoyed that. So guys head over there, show the support that we always do. As we come around that final bend on lap two of two, we hit the home straight, which means we are in for a treat with another gold trophy win. Jonathan, we are absolutely racking up those gold trophies tonight. You've managed to pull yourself out from behind that sofa. I saw the picture that Chrissy showed me of you hiding behind your sofa. Jonathan, it was an absolute pleasure. So that is another trophy to our collection. Another gold trophy at that. We've had trophies galore tonight. We've had all gold trophies. And yes, it is... A great night. It is cold here tonight. Ooh. Ellis, wrap up nice and warm. You don't want to be getting any colds or flus with it being cold. So wrap yourself up warm. So we pick up another victory. We are sat currently at the top of the series standings board. Enjoy the rest of your stream, Mass. I'm, I'm off to do some trucking. Okay, Danny, you have. Are you? You're going. I presume you're going off to do some streaming have a great stream we will pop over and see you guys if you haven't already please head over and see danny over at the bus trucker i believe chrissy will throw that link up very very shortly but head over there guys give danny a like and a follow show him some support thank you for coming in danny we will have a great stream
so there we go there is the link guys head over there give Danny a like and a follow show the support as well next one I'll play and Rob come up no I'm good in uh, dead by daylight I like my dead by daylight so we push forward we go and collect our credits for that amazing win Okay, Daniel, you take it easy, buddy. I don't blame you, Ellis. Have a great evening. Make sure you keep yourself nice and warm, and we will speak to you again soon. You take care. Much love from me and the whole Mass Gaming team. Be safe, and we'll speak to you soon. So we pick up 18,600 credits, taking our total to 1,901,000. 221 we're on that course to hit 2 million credits which is awesome and we fly over halfway through driver level 133 so we're heading to our last circuit in this series we're heading to the Sebring International Raceway and another rainy day has followed us through. So we are going to be racing in the wet. The track is very moist. Luckily there is no storm behind it though. So it's just going to be wet. We're doing two laps at 3.70 miles per lap. So let's head down to trackside and get this race started. And we are waiting, we pull off. We start in 13th place. We're not gonna be there for long. Let's see how far up the pack we can get before we hit that first bend. We get into the top five. There goes my first cone of the evening. That is one cone down. As we come to the bending section, we've hit one cone. We didn't aim for it, we were actually pushed into it. But we hit second place. So tonight is not a cone free night. As we push our way forward we slide into first place and we are doing a good job of holding first place that rain is still coming down which means there are going to be puddles forming up on the track which is going to make it more difficult for us as we go around that too do I ever not get first place? absolutely on the open wheel challenges um, they are quite hard to control the difficulty level on this is set to high AI so it's not easy getting into first place in the first place I've gone up when the computer has recommended that I go up with the difficulty level I've actually gone up with it so I am at the highest at the moment that it says there are higher but the computer hasn't recommended I go up yet. It will do in due course. There are some races that we come 9th, 10th, 15th. They vary. But we are at the high AI, high AI level. Especially the open... Uh, like the Formula 1 cars. That series was absolutely insane. And it was impossible to keep that car on the track we, we got 15th 16th places that was the open wheels series and that was impossible oh that was a nice uh, drift around that bend there as we come around this bend 
There's the entrance to the pit lane. As we push our way forward over the start line, we start lap two of two in first place. As we push around the start of lap two, Hicks, you asked Jeff what I was like on the open wheel series. It 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 was bad. I even felt bad not being able to come in first, second, or third. I think we came ninth on the uh, series for the last one that we did with the open wheels and that car was virtually impossible to keep on the track. As we fly around this corner, the gap between us and second place isn't that big. So as we push forward, Okay, now we're starting to see a little increase in the gap between us and second place. That helicopter's coming down. Is he coming down onto the track? No, he's going further away. It looked like he was coming down. Didn't realise A on the controller was to use the handbrake as we drift around a few corners making it look nice and tidy we go around that little kink in the track there it's rain not relenting at all and we push our way around we're near the end of the circuit as we come up to the long straight, we know we're near the end. That sun trying to come out. As we get a nice evening sunset. And we come to that long bend at the end of the circuit. And we go around. There's the entrance to the pit lane. The pack not that far behind. But we pick up the first place trophy. Tonight is definitely a night for trophies. Some nights we don't get the trophies that we want. Sometimes we don't get trophies at all. Just tonight seems to be a good night for trophies. As we pick up the last tick to my right, that is six out of six races complete. We finish in first place on the podium, so we're going to send Jeff up there to go and pick up the first place podium trophy for the series. Turn the trophy off so we can see Jeff. There he is, looking good in the Forza driver's suit there and picking up first place on the podium. And we pick up 20,000 credits, adding to our total to make it 1,921,221. And we fly over three quarters of the way around driver level 133, which adds another tick to the series, leaving two to do. One being the Open Elite, and then the other being the Endurance Sebring 300. That one is going to be a test. A test indeed. So what we're going to do now, before we start that Evolution Open Elite, we're going to have a look back into the Forza Drivers' Cup and have a look at that Porsche race. That is the single one left for us to complete. 
so let's see if we can do this we tried this yesterday we tried it the day before i remember the first time i saw we've heard him talk before too turbo in the streets of montreal and, and how beautifully wide and sculpted that vehicle was and again you could see the ethos of the vehicle speaking through the way it was shaped what the width the size of that rear wing the vents on it the size of the wheels the brakes i mean you could it was obvious that vehicle was meant to thrill you it was such an alien vehicle in the midst of, the, of all these boring vehicles so this one a rolling start every car starts at a set interval we have to come first we have to overtake i think it's five of the cars we have to overtake the six cars on the track we've done this two days in a row now and we haven't come first but if we come first we will win this car i have faith that we can do this tonight but we shall see Hicks, if you're still watching, you, this is what I mean. You will see that we don't always come first. As you can see, these cars are setting off before us, so they're staggered starters. So we have to catch up with these cars. And we are off. We have to come in first to win this challenge. We've done this two days now and we've come the highest i believe of four but we can't pass the challenge until we get first and this track is not the most forgiving track either So we go past into fifth place still four more cars to overtake i'm gunning for them today and there goes another current we're hugging that line that's where we need we need to be on this track to be in the optimal position for speed on the track these cars going so fast it is unbelievable and we are really pushing the boundaries today we're in third place as we come up over the bridge we come in third place third place is better than what we've done so far in the last couple of days but it's still not good enough we need that first place win so with that said we're going to give that one another try this challenge is difficult but we will keep persevering and doing it until we complete it we had 4,200 to our credits, so we're going to go back and try again. So let's start the race again. If we don't do it this time, we will come back to it again tomorrow. As we wait for that start, start, start countdown to come to zero. And we are off. Let's see if we can do it this time. We know we can get high up in there. We want to get into first. So as we come around that first bend, we want to be on that line all the way around this race. see if we can do it this time we power past into fifth 
Still on that line. There goes another cone. That's three for the evening. This car really powering forward. We slide into fourth as we come over that crest. We get nudged out of third and into fourth. What a nightmare! We, I, I thought we had it then. All four car, all four cars bunched together. I thought we had it. I'll tell you what. We'll give it one more go. I'm not going to let that sit. That was a bit of a dirty ending on that one. And I really want to get this challenge done. It was so close. That's how tight this champion, this series is. This race is so, so close. It's five, no, six Porsche cars. All of different generations of Porsche. And they all perform as well as each other. So let's give it one more try. Last try. As we wait for that countdown to go down, we are ready. And we are off. We are in pursuit of the five cars in front. Let's see if we can do it this time. Trista Ramsey in the house. How you doing, Trista? Hope you're doing okay. Hope work is treating you kindly today. We are having a challenge of a lifetime with this Porsche. Not making it easy for us tonight. Definitely not doing as well this race either. Something is telling me that this uh, this should be the final one for the night of this challenge. Thank you. As we power forward. We go into fifth place let's see if we can get some more first place is looking as if it's gone already we smack into the back of the second and we come in third so again not a win for this one as close as it is with less well we're literally a second behind first place so it's that close. But never mind. We will come back to that again. We are getting so close, yes. And it's frustrating because we're literally that far away from being completed on this challenge. But we pick up our credits and we've got a total of 1,933,821. Well done. Fat Savage in the house. How you doing, Sean? Hope you're doing very well, my friend. I still don't think I have a thing on here for you. No, I don't. I'm sure I have one. I'll send you, yeah. But guys, head over to Fat Savage 52 game page. Give Sean a like. Give Sean a follow. He loves playing. 
the hunter call of the wired and he makes it look easy i'm picking up tips from him because i have that game as well he is under the wings of jetstream big wants and jeff when it comes to that game and they all do it amazingly but sean is definitely doing that game some justice so guys go over to fat savage 52 go check him out see how he does and Sean coming in there with 500 stars. Thank you so Let's much, go. Sean. Let's go. Let's go. And Sean, for that, I'm going to give you one of these. You are awesome. Thank you so, so much. So we, oh, we we finished a driver level as well. So that gives us the choice of 50,000 credits a BMW, a 2013 BMW M6 for absolutely zero, or we get the vintage racing white driver suit. So, if you pop in the comments, guys, which you would like us to pick up, we will go with the one that has the most votes. Miss Chrissy coming straight in there with car. Christina coming in there with car as well. We'll give it a good 30 seconds. And then we will go with the one that has the most. Chrissy coming in there with car. Jess coming in there with car as well. It looks like it's going to be a landslide victory for the car. Trista coming in there with car as well. Greg coming in with car. It looks like a landslide victory all over with the car. That nice 2013 BMW M6. We'll give it another five seconds. And there we go. It's a landslide victory with the votes for the car. So we pick the car up. Ooh, it is a 2000. Sean coming in with 1,000 stars. How many gold trophies today? Uh, Question mark. We've have, how many gold trophies have we got? We're heading on for the best part of 10 gold trophies i believe jeff could correct me if i'm wrong but we we've had one we've had one silver trophy tonight one silver and no win that's all we've had all the rest of the knob because mm -hmm. last one you didn't get a trophy yeah we we're looking at about 10 trophies in total one silver which was a second place and the rest have been gold and the race that we've just tried to do the challenge i should say we haven't completed that yet but we are going to complete that challenge at some point but thank you so much sean for that 1000 stars i'm going to give you another one of these you are awesome so guys if you haven't already please head over to fat savage 52's gaming page and give him a like and a follow as we pick up that 2013 BMW M6 Coupe, it adds 395 to our collector score, and it is a rare. Sean coming in with another 735 today, let's stars. Go. Wow, thank you so much. Guys, please put some hashtag Sean's in the comments. Spam that heart button for Sean. Thank you so much, Sean. You are amazing. And I'm going to give you another one of these. This is a different one. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, I was, I was just about to ask the same question. Did you order your new keyboard, Sean? I'm going to throw a, a Sean in there too. You're amazing, Sean. So let's get back into that. Did you order your keyboard, Sean? Ooh, we fly over halfway round collection tier 21, which is awesome. Just got home from work had to get in here first but i'm going to order it right now that is awesome you know getting that keyboard you need to get that keyboard and then you'll be set but i'm glad that we could help you 
getting that keyboard at least putting towards you getting that keyboard which is great so we have not completed that challenge we have one series remaining which is the open elite oh yeah it's blue it says everything so we're going to go to the evolution open this is where we get to pick a car of our choice and i know exactly what car to, cho to choose we pick it every time we get an open and i know a f get back down No, go that way. I know what car I want to pick. There it is. It's the mouse gaming Audi car. We love picking this car out of the garage every now and again, giving it a blast around the tracks. And our first track is Jeff's favourite. It is the Mount Panorama circuit. We're doing the Bathurst circuit. Jeff absolutely loves this circuit. We brought the mouse car out to play. You guys love the mouse car. I love driving the mouse car. We're doing two laps at 3.86 miles per lap on this awesome track as well and the sun is out so all the elements coming together my favorite car your favorite car jeff's favorite track and the sunshine to complete so we head off we start in 13th place pushing our way through the pack sean is nine followers away from that magic 200 so if you haven't guys please head over to fat savage 52's page give him a like give him a follow let's get him up to 200 as we push forward this car really did need to come out for that long jaunt as we fly up the straight we're going to go around this bend and we're going to hit first place i hope i hope and i clip the win don't worry sean we will get you to that 200 we are going to get you to that 200 whether it means we have to stay up all night to do it we are going to do it so as we push our way around the uphill section of this circuit we slide into first place which is absolutely awesome we're going to be heading downhill very very shortly everybody out in force today that miss sort of rolling across the top as we head into the downhill section of the track now there goes a wing mirror as we fly around the very very bendy section of the circuit this is the corner i want to be careful with that corner can take you out when you least expect it now we're around that corner we are onto a straight as we go through the mist there we put our foot down on the accelerator pushing it all the way forward increasing that gap between us and second place let's have a look at that car look at that view as we come to that bend in the track we come up to the open s bend and we push around that as fast as we can everybody out in force today for this circuit as we push around onto the home straight we go over that start line to start lap two of two so this series is going to be all about the mouse car we know you guys love it thank you to our very very good friend matt bryce for designing the decal for this car really appreciate that 
and he has done us proud with that hashtag mouse gaming logo followed with hubby there you go that means Sean is slowly slowly creeping up to that 200 we will do the legwork to push him over that 200 and on his way to 500 as we come around the uphill bending section Chrissy is on her invite spree Sean if everything goes the way it should you will hit that 200 tonight hopefully we're keeping our fingers crossed for you guys we do what we do because we love gaming and we love the community so as we push our way forward we go around into the downhill section oh we nearly clipped that wall that was so close we managed to recover that fairly easily this car just handles these corners so well bear in mind this is the corner we I, I have to be really careful on I haven't hit a single current on this track now normally I take out a tire wall as we come down that long straight we push forward I think we're firmly set to take another gold trophy I say I think so as we push down we go to that bend in the road which means we're nearly at the S bend we certainly are everybody in happy spirits as we go around that S bend we can see the entrance to the pit lane just to our left which means one thing we're near the home straight and that finish line as we line up on the finish line we're going to go across and pick up another gold trophy the first gold trophy in the open elite series just what we wanted what a great way to start a new series so that is our first race that is our first series points that is our first trophy of the evolution open elite so let's pick up our trophy let's pick up our credits and I can stretch a little bit now we pick up 22,000 credits taking our total to 1,975,821 we are set on course to hit that 2 million mark and we pick up our XP we fly over quarter of the way around driver level 134 so with one trophy in the bag the next track we will be doing is the Nürburgring GP circuit but we're gonna leave that until tomorrow we're gonna go back in We are going to leave this for now. We're going to look for somebody to raid. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody for coming in tonight. Thank you for donating the stars. Jess for breaking the alert box as she always does. She is amazing. Sean, thank you for the amazing stars. And thank you to everybody else that has given stars tonight. And thank you for all the reactions, all the comments and the participation in the chat. It is all really appreciated and we are glad that you had some fun we are going to have a look for somebody to raid hopefully the raid will work properly tonight i really do hope so because yesterday it didn't work well but that's just facebook being facebook so let's have a look for somebody to raid hopefully we have one of our friends on okay we are going to go over and see our good friend Sean we are glad you made it in two and we hopefully will get you over that 200 as soon as we can we are pushing Chrissy is sending out invites as we speak we're going to head over and see Danny our very good friend the bus trucker if you could stay for the raid please go over with the hashtag mouse raid I will join you guys over there 
thank you again for everybody coming in tonight we will be back the same time tomorrow so until then we're going to head over and say, see our good friend Danny there is the link if the raid does not work guys hopefully it will I've selected it so let's see we will catch you guys tomorrow